A new proposal working its way through legislation's process right now could bring more small businesses to Wisconsin. Tahalil Mahodin spoke with a local representative about this project and shares how she's trying to make it to the state's main streets and our priority. The plan is still in its early stages, but it's already gotten the attention of small business owners across the state looking to a new website to make running their businesses a whole lot easier. These small business owners can't afford to keep waiting to have this get done. Small business advocates are asking Wisconsin state representatives to put local entrepreneurs first. The state government of Wisconsin over the last decade has focused more on larger businesses where they can afford an accountant, a lawyer, all these people to navigate the stuff for them. Looking for help navigating the different agencies involved in running a business. There are some real horror stories of small business owners having to go to 8, 9, 10, 15 different websites trying to make sure that they're abiding by the law. Representative Francesca Hong, a small business owner herself, says she understands where they're coming from. Small business owners have to wear a lot of hats. A lot of us are operating our own businesses. We have to be both the HR um, as well as, uh, you know, uh, the chef or the line cook or the dishwasher. Earlier this month, she helped introduce a bill that would centralize small business needs related to licenses, grants, and taxes by creating an online portal. The Department of Revenue, the Department of Financial Instructions, the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation, all of these different agencies work together for us. Hoping the one-stop shop will get the attention of Small Business Development Committee Chair, Representative Lauren Oldenburg. We're hoping that being the small business state that we are, we can find bipartisan common ground in order to help all of our small business owners right now. Advocates calling the proposal long overdue. We don't care who gets credit. It's more about what can we do to get done for uh, the main streets across our state. If the bill gets the support of the committee chair, it would then be brought to a public hearing before a committee vote. In order for it to pass this current legislative session, that would need to happen by April.